why my voice is important. When I hear that, I hear, why does my voice matter? Why does it matter? For all I know, you could be thinking about dinner. You could be thinking about relatives and not even be paying attention. For all I know, I'm just a voice in the back of your head. Apparently, my voice means enough to you though that you are paying attention. Why are you paying attention? Is it your job? Were you told to? Are you part of a scientific experiment where they placed a chip in your head to see if you were paying attention? Or is it simply because you want to? When had my voice ever mattered? Obviously, it matters in school for answers, for correct answers. It matters to my parents because today, with our government, I need to have strong opinions. For example, freedom of speech is really important to me. So is our history. We can learn a lot from our past. In America, we have freedom of speech. The First Amendment states as such. Why do we have freedom of speech? Starting in the year 1763, King George started to tax the colonies and the rest of Great Britain because of the battles that Britain was fighting. The colonists, having been out of Britain for a while, found it unnecessary to pay for such needs and were upset. Because the colonists had no one in the government to represent them, they could not change the fact that they were being taxed. They had no voice. The taxing continued until 1773, and the colonists eventually had enough. Because of the taxing and some other contributing factors, it would soon be the Revolutionary War. The colonists then won freedom and wrote the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Now everyone's voice matters. To a certain extent. People listen to your voice because they care about you, such as your friends and family. People listen to your voice because their, their ideas are worth their time, because they're good ideas. Some people listen to me only because my voice is loud. A friend once told me, your voice is as loud as an airplane engine. Kind of hard to ignore that. Some people listen to me because they think I have a leader aspect. Some people listen to me because they think I'm entertaining. Some people listen to me because they are forced to, and some because life depends on it. Back in December, I had just gone to see a movie and it was incredibly sad. The main character's best friend had just committed suicide and that got me thinking. So the next day at school, I went around asking my closest friends to promise me that they would never commit suicide. What would I do without them? All of them except one answered, I promise. The last person I asked and needed the answer from the most responded, you know, funny you mention it because I was actually thinking about it. I almost burst into tears when I had heard that. He'd been going through a tough time. His mom was in the hospital and even before that he wasn't too happy about how life was at home. So I decided to go to the counselor to tell someone what was happening. I mean, if he did go and commit suicide, I would feel like it was my fault, and I don't know how I would do with that. So the next day, I went to the counselor. The scary thing was, he wasn't there that day. The day after he told me he was thinking about taking his life. I was shaking and I didn't know where he was. The counselor told me she would pull him in when he got back. In my mind, that was an if he got back. Turns out he didn't come to school that day because his mother was going through surgery and he had to wake up really, really early. I don't know if going to the counselor did anything, but it felt like I'd use my voice for something beneficial for myself and my friends who would be devastated if he'd actually gone and committed suicide. Since then, his mom is out of the hospital, he's still here, and as far as I know, happy. No one is going to care about your voice unless you make them. Make your voice worth hearing worth their precious time. Make your opinions well-educated and have reasons why you think that way. Make your voice related to topics people enjoy or want to hear about. Use your voice to engrave stories into their heads. Use words appealing to the senses. Don't be a robot. Make them want to. No. Make them need to listen because no one is going to care about your voice unless they have a reason to listen.